In this video, we will discuss about some derivations and concepts of standard projectile motions and we will also discuss how to solve questions on this. Let us start. We know that x-axis and y-axis are perpendicular to each other. Therefore, the motion along x-axis is independent of the motion along y-axis. So, we can separately analyze this motion along x-axis and y-axis. Now, we know that this motion jo hai, that is motion in a plane. Okay. But still, we can analyze this motion ko separately analyze kar sakte along x-axis and y-axis. Okay. Because both axes are perpendicular to each other. So, if I write here for x-axis and here for y-axis. Now, we have initial velocity de rakha hai, jo u hai, and the angle is theta here. So, initial velocity along x-axis, kya hoga? Component of u along this, which is u cos theta. So, I can write here, initial velocity along x-axis is u cos theta. Initial velocity along y-axis would be this component, which would be u sin theta. So, here our u y is u sin theta. Now, the acceleration along x-axis is zero because there is no force along x-axis. So, I can say ax is zero. Acceleration along y-axis is minus g because g is acting in downward direction. And uh, now, we can write that the velocity along x-axis at any time is t is equals to v is equals to u plus at. So, ux plus ax into t. ax is zero. So, vx is always equals to u cos theta. That is going to remain constant. Similarly, we can write vy likh hai as a function of time t. So, vy is equals to v is equal to u plus at. So, u, uy is u sin theta plus at. So, ay is minus g into t. So, this is our velocity along y-axis as a function of time t. So, now displacement along x-axis. It is starting from origin. So, I can directly write x is equal to ut plus half at square. So, uxt plus half axt square. ax is 0. So, x is equals to u into cos theta into t. Similarly, I can write y coordinate as ut plus half at square. So, uy t plus half ay into t square. From here, I can say y is equal to uy is u sin theta t plus half ay t square. So, ay is minus g. So, minus g by 2 into t square. Okay. So, till now, we got the initial velocity along x-axis, initial velocity along y-axis, then velocity along x-axis as function of time, which is going to remain constant, always u cos theta. Velocity along y-axis as function of time is this x coordinate as function of time which is our displacement along x axis and displacement along y axis as function of time okay so these things we are able to understand finding time of maximum height first th max it means the time this particle will take to reach the highest point okay so we know that when the particle will reach the highest point it will be moving only horizontally the velocity along y axis will become zero so and we know that velocity along y axis from the table v y is equals to u sin theta minus gt. So, at t is equal to th max, vy will become equal to 0. So, here we can put 0 is equal to u sin theta minus g into t of h max. So, from here we got t of h max is coming equal to u sin theta by g. We got the time it takes to reach the maximum height. Second thing we will find is time of flight, which we call as t flight. So, we know that the time it takes to reach the maximum height in this, the time the particle will take to reach the maximum height, the same time it will take to come back from the maximum height. Okay. Therefore, t flight is actually twice of th max. t flight is equal to twice of th max. So, we can say t flight is equal to 2u sin theta by g. This is our second derivation. Third thing, we will find the maximum height h max. What is h max actually? h max is the y coordinate at this point when this particle reaches the maximum height. So, actually, this is our h max. Now we know our y coordinate as function of time and there we can put time to be th max. So using that equation, we can write, 
which is our y is equals to u sin theta t minus g by 2 t square. So, y is equals to h max at t is equals to t h max. So, we will put t h max which is u sin theta by g. So, I can write h max is equal to u sin theta into t which is u sin theta over g minus g by 2 t h max square which is u sin theta over g whole square. Solving this, it will become u square sin square theta by g minus here it will become u square sin square theta by 2g. From here we got h max is equal to u square sin square theta by 2g. So this is our maximum height reached by the particle. Now next thing that we have to find is the range. Range means along the horizontal axis what is the distance the particle covered in t flight total time okay so this is our range so range is we can say the x coordinate that is at time t is equal to t flight and x coordinate we know that is u cos theta into t so this is our fourth range x is equal to u cos theta into t so at t is equal to t flight our x is equals to r so, I can say r is equal to u cos theta into t flight and t flight is 2u sin theta by g. Solving it, it will become u square into 2 into sin theta cos theta over g. And 2 sin theta cos theta we can write as sin 2 theta. So, it will become u square sin 2 theta by g. So, this became the formula for our range. Next thing we will discuss is equation of trajectory. So, equation of trajectory means the equation of the path followed by the particle. Okay, means the xy relationship equation of trajectory. Now, here from the table we can write x as function of time which is u cos theta into t and y which is as u sin theta t minus half g t square okay now we want to replace t here and we just want relationship between x and y so from the first equation i can say that t is equal to x divided by u cos theta and we will put t in the y equation so y is equal to u sin theta into t which is x divided by u cos theta minus half g t square so which became x square by u square cos square theta so from here i can say y is equal to you will get cancelled here x tan theta minus g x square over 2 u square cos square theta so this is our equation of trajectory okay now in a question like where the at any point if the y coordinate is given so you can use this equation to find the x coordinate okay now till now we have done the fundamental derivations now, if they ask some fundamental question directly like finding the h max or finding the range, you can use these formulas. Or if they ask you something like find the velocity after one second, find the velocity after two seconds. So, you can use these formulas from the table. Okay. Now, we will solve some questions. Let us take one question. This question was asked in J mains 2021. Here, a player kicks a football with an initial speed of 25 meter per second at an angle of 45 degree from the ground. What are the maximum height and the time taken by the football to reach at the highest point during motion? Okay, so we have to find h max. h max formula was u square by u square sin square theta by 2g. Okay, now we will use this. u is given as 25 meter per second. So 25 square and sin 45. So sin square 45 divided by 2g which is 20. If you will solve, you will get, you will get 15.625 meters from here. This is our h max. Next is uh, finding t h max. So t h max we know that is equal to u sin theta by g. u is given as 25, sin 45 is 1 by root 2 and g is you can take 10 here. So if you solve this you will get 1.77 seconds. So the answer is c. Now let us do one more question.
Let us do this question. A particle is projected with a velocity 50 meter per second at 37 degree here, 37 degree with horizontal. Find velocity, displacement and coordinates of the particle with respect to the starting point. So starting point is our origin after 2 seconds. So given thing is sin 37, cos 37 and g we have to take as 10 meter per second square. Okay, let us start. So first we, have, we will find velocity. So we know that vx always remain the same which is u cos theta. Okay, what is u? u is 50 into cos theta that is 0.8 we can say 4 by 5 so this is coming 40 meter per second next is vy vy you know that is u sin theta minus gt so it is coming 50 into sin of 37 3 by 5 minus g which is 10 into t t is 2 seconds here here 10 so it became 30 minus 20 which is 10 this is our v by okay so our velocity after at t is equal to 2 second v we can say which is u v x i cap so which is 40 i cap plus v by j cap so 10 j cap so this is our velocity after 2 second next thing we have to find is displacement and coordinates okay let us find the coordinates so x coordinate you know that we wrote x is equals to u cos theta into t u is given as 50 into cos of 37 4 by 5 into t is 2 so 10 which is 80 y coordinate was u sin theta into t minus g by 2 t square u is 50 sin 37 is 3 by 5 t is 2 minus g is 10 so 10 by 2 into t square which is 4 here 5 10 so it became 60 minus 20 which is 40 so our x coordinate is 80 and y coordinate is 40 and from here we can write the displacement vector i can say s is equals to x i cap which is 80 i cap plus y j cap 40 j cap okay so we got all our answers so our video simple projectile motion pe thi aage main video aur banaunga jisme projectile from a certain height projectile on a plane wo sare hum cases cover karenge okay aur ye agar video aapko achhi lagi to hit the like button also aapko next video kaun se topic pe chahiye write in the comment box thank you